what's up guys today i wanted to take a look at the hasbro hybrid indominus and this is it it's got that jw logo now as we all know hasbro was not the greatest when it came to these dinosaurs and that's a cool feature if i can get my hand That's part of it. And then the head on this thing doesn't work all that great. Right there, boom. So, this is kind of a rare and harder to get, more expensive type figure these days, which is kind of weird to me can't even get to stand. It's kind of annoying me. Can you stand up, please? Come on. Stand. 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 There we go. Okay. So, anyways, uh, as I was trying to say, which kind of surprises me with how bad most of these toys were, but this was definitely one of the better ones. Um, despite it looking like a Mexican uh swap meat bootleg of the indominus in my opinion just the gold and the bright colors and the action feature this looks like it would have just been a mattel uh ripoff like some kind of bootleg just to make people think it was indominus so that way they could get uh you know money for it now I actually have a very cool story to tell about this guy, um, or should I say this girl, I guess. Um, even though it's hard to see this one as being a female in a weird way. I know Indominus herself is actually female, but for some weird reason, this being the hybrid with all these colors and spikes and things and so much going on here, it feels like it would be male to me. But any which way, this guy, this girl, whatever you want to say, uh, the story that I got that's kind of cool is I actually got mine for free. Um, and the reason why it has the neck damage and the head damage was this actually belonged to a little kid. And it ended up getting thrown away in a pile of toys in a trash can in my neighborhood. And I ended up spotting it and I grabbed it. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. I grabbed it real quick. I guess maybe the kid's parents thought the head was broken and they just decided to discard it or the kid didn't play with it anymore. I really don't know what the circumstances were. I just happened to find this guy and I was like, dude, I am so taking that because I have seen these things online, even in this condition with the busted neck for anywhere from 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars around there. And if you get one that's like full working, uh, good condition, it can be like a hundred or more. And if you get one brand new in the box, it could be like two or three hundred dollars. I don't know why this figure is so insanely uh, sought after, or I don't know if it's just rare because I believe it was like a Toys R Us exclusive, or maybe they only made so many. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's really cool looking. Um, I don't like, I've tried and tried to fix the neck and this uh, action feature with the arm just does not work anymore, unfortunately. But still, just a really cool figure. So anyway, like I said, guys, I just had a cool story to tell about this guy and it's one that I've been wanting to review since I got my hands on it. I used it in a toy movie around Halloween time. I had just gotten the figure like maybe a couple months before that. Um, and it had just been sitting around. I hadn't really figured out what I was going to use it for. And then I decided, I, I came. I knew I was going to use it in a toy movie. I just wasn't sure what that toy movie was going to be. So I ended up using it and I'm probably going to use it again in some future stuff. And I've been wanting to get a review done on it. So here's that review. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.